chills run down your spine. You break into a cold sweat. Your heart begins to pound. You are afraid. Tonight, on scariest places on Earth, Magnolia Lane Plantation. But you have a very unique thing right here on Magnolia Lane Plantation, and that's a conflict of souls. We're in New Orleans. Man. Yes, we are. We're we are in New Orleans. We had a murder, and we discovered a voodoo altar. I'd like to find the truth, whatever that may be. Are the Eatons ready to spend a night at Magnolia Lane Plantation? Oh my god! One of the scariest places <laughs> on Earth. Magnolia Lane, the spirits of the dead can attach themselves to the living. For the Eaton family who are now at Magnolia Lane, that process may have already begun. Behind you is an altar that has been evolving over the past 50 years. Anyone who ventures close to Magnolia Lane must make an offering of protection before leaving. This altar is your only hope for protection. In a place like this, the dead attach themselves to the living. And for you, that process has already begun. Therefore, you must retrieve something of significance from each of the areas you explore and return it to the altar. First, you must create a ritual drawing in the earth that will help you to travel between the world of the living and the dead. All right, who's good at ritual drawings? Oh, Christmas Green, Troy. All right. I'll go! I'll go! I'll go! I'm Wanda Sally Ann. I'm an initiated Voodoo Priestess. And I will take you all to the crossroads where spirit and matter meet. We will pay respect and honor to the dead. We will do this ritual to open you up to receive and perceive the spirit. Now, if you look at the altar, you will see several of the voodoo spirits reflected there. I'm drawing what's called a veve. It's a ritual drawing that calls the force of Gede. And Gede is the god of death, and Gede tells the truth. So if you're afraid of Gede, if you're afraid of death, you're afraid of the truth. Now voodoo is all about participation and experience. So you will all participate with me in this ritual. You hold this. And Gede loves cigars, so keep that lit. Gede loves peppers. Begin. We will all kneel around the veve.
now you'll be blindfolded and led to five areas on the plantation. Oh my God. On the outside of the blindfolds are veves, symbols like the one you've drawn on the ground. They will act as magnets, pulling spirits towards your eyes. Remember that spirits can see you and feel your presence. They know how to get inside your head. You'll hear their voices. You will feel their touch. You will see their black shadows. If need be, call out the names of the deceased that you've known to help you through a dark moment. And finally, remember the old voodoo prayer to the dead. Don't hurt me, ye who know pain. Cemetery. You are now sitting with the dead. Years after the war, children playing near here would flee in terror when they saw a boy who was born in the early 1800s. Visitors to this room often feel chilling cold, a chilling cold even in the summer. Scratching noises are heard. When this was working, orientation meets meats. Oh, that's it. Put the vegetarian where the meats are. It is believed that Confederate prisoners performed a cruel form of torture by slowly poisoning the Union Major who At was the end their of captor. the Civil War. It is said that a Union Major forced as many as 25 Confederate prisoners of war to live in the shack. Christopher decides to dig in the graveyard in search of an offering for the day. Can you hear me? Give me the shots. 
All right, I'm not staying in that room. No way in hell. There's less bats in this room. Ah! Stop, Chris. Right here, Cindy. Oh, my right. God. I am in the basement and I'm filled with bats. Filled with bats. You hear me? Filled with them. They're, like, all over my head. <laughs> There's spider webs everywhere. I'm in, like, some kind of basement. Oh, my God. Try, like, Cindy. Just keep calm. What the heck am I supposed to bring? I can't find a way out. Hello? Anybody? Okay, this is so super not even funny. Cindy! <laughs> I can hear someone walking over me. Can you hear me? Oh my god, what are they doing to my family? Coming up next. Oh, I'm not going by myself. You'll be fine. I'm, I'm digging in a graveyard right now. I hope I'm digging in the right spot. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. family of Massachusetts is at Magnolia Lane, a 200-year-old Louisiana plantation. Most who have ventured onto the grounds of Magnolia Lane believe that there is no way to drive out the dark energy that is there. The most anyone can hope for is protection. I can't find a way out. I'm, I'm digging in a graveyard right now, trying to find something. I hope I'm digging in the right spot. I can hear someone walking over me. Dad, can you hear me? Yeah, where are you? Hey! I'm, up, I'm up on the uh, first wall. National Guard unit. I was trying to get in the right direction to where the altar is. Oh, this is just peachy. This is worse than the United States Army. You know what? I think my adrenaline gland is shot. Okay, I'm too old for this. I'm coming on. All right, beat feet, bud. Okay. Oh man. I can almost, I can almost see you guys. 
Waiting on you. Yeah, you're the last one, bud. Chris? Yep. Come on. Chris, what did you find? I dug myself out of a grave. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like you did. What did you bring? A box. I don't know, I don't know what's in it. Come on. The plantation oh, house has been locked up for 50 years. You'll be the first to go inside during the dead of night. Have no doubts about what you will see here in Magnolia Lane. There are many who have come before you and have tales to tell. Stephanie and Christopher, take the thermal camera to the sealed bedroom in the plantation house. Stephen, go to the slave cabin in the woods and bring back copies of the ritual drawing and symbols that appear on the walls. Kimberly, take the laser thermometer and go to the plantation basement where you will measure temperature changes that may demonstrate the presence of spirits. Careful. Cindy, go to the scarecrow in the woods. Take the magnet meter and measure changes in the atmosphere. This has always been an active area. You can do it, Cindy. It's just gonna say you'll okay. be fine. You'll no, be fine. I'm not going by myself. You'll be fine. No, I'm not going. Kim. No, I'm Kim. not going. Kim, don't. Well, you'll be no, fine. No, I'm not going by myself. We all have to I'm do not, our own no, thing, Kim. No, why do you know? I'm not going by myself. When you go in. No, I'm not going down there by myself. No. Nope. Where does she have to go? Way. Oh, Cindy was already there. No, not going by myself. I'm not going anywhere by myself. It's the only way we're going to... Yeah. No, Kim. I'm not going by myself. Kim, it's the only way we're going to do this. Stephanie, I'm not going by myself. Coming up next. This hat is on an animal head. <laughs> what was that? Where? The Eatons continue their search for offerings. Okay, oh here, my things, God, guys. Kim, you're gonna be fine. No, listen, no, listen, no. Come here. It's, it, listen, you're gonna be fine. Come on. Don't Wait, make me. We, don't make me kill I, you. Okay. Listen. I'm hearing things behind that wall, and I'm not. Okay, no, I can't. Do listen, put your head on, okay? My head is on, and it's telling me don't go in that stupid. Dumb basement. I'm not going. No, I can't. You have. But you're to. gonna stand out here by yourself. Can't really listen. Listen, to it's gonna take. You have. If you don't do this, we're not gonna get through this. Do you, know what, do you know what you're doing in there? Thirty seconds. I'm going in there, and then I'm gonna scream That's all it'll take like to measure. hell. Yep. Just measure it and go. Can you guys wait for me, old tight, please? We'll, we'll, we'll talk you through we'll it. Right okay. Out. I have another question. When I'm done, where do I go? Back to the. Back altar. to the altar. By myself. Yes. It's right there. Okay. I was just asking. Find the slave building. I said that was gonna rain. I'm not sure if this is it. Yeah, that's it. Guys, I'm leaving. There's nothing down here. Kimberly, if you measure it. Yeah, it was 53 degrees, constant steady. I checked it four times. Oh god. Yeah, oh Chris. Will you you uh can you hold my camera? Hey, how about you? I gotta measure this and I can't. Yeah. I have to bring back a copy of, have to, of a drawing. I have to like draw it, but I don't okay, know. Hold on. Yeah, right, so, hold so, on. Somewhere Look, here, there's a drawing. There's one right there. It's in the stuff. But I'm wondering. Birds, I don't, I don't know if we should touch it. Yeah. Mm. Who's that guy? Oh, he looks That's mean. Oh, he looks mean. Okay. He looks really mean. Come on, let's get the straw and get the hell out of here. Well, I just don't know which one they want. Which right. one would you put? Well, you? pick I one. Mean, Will you please just I pick one? I can't draw that. No, draw no. Don't draw that. I don't know. Draw something, right. will ya? No. How about the ones? How about the one? On the way in. All right, that works. Is it's it more bluish, so yeah. I don't know if it's colder. Guys, we found a drawing. Steph. Yeah. It's all over the bed. Is it red? No, it's blue. Can I see? Yeah. Make sure, I don't want to show him what I'm looking at. You see? Oh my god, I didn't see that before. I'm gonna lay on the bed. Oh. Trap. Hey guys, 
guys. Go ahead, Cindy. Death beats the scarecrow. There's what? Death beats the scarecrow. We're doing okay. We're just uh, the scarecrow was accomplishing moving. our mission here. You guys are too. Yeah, I'm. I know I'm too much, but you know what? <laughs> I am the world's biggest scaredy cat, and I don't care. Yeah. Oh, look at that chandelier. Oh. Whoa. Chris. All right. Oh. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, I don't like this. I hope I don't feel anything. Chris? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was your hand. I'm here. Are you in? Alright. Alright, you know what? I want to go back in that basement. You're done? Let's go. This hat is on an animal head. What? Oh my god, Cindy. It's okay. Just relax. Wow, look at that. Well, let me see. Stuff. Yeah? It's yeah, weird. It's almost... Your arms weren't even out. But it looks like there's a body laying... Almost like the way, you know, it looks like on a cross. With its arms straight out. Ooh, I don't... I, ooh, I didn't like laying on that bed at all. What do you say? I think I heard you something. Guys, really cold, cold. very cold. Like extremely cold. Sixty-two. Right now. You know it's getting colder as we speak. You know what? I'm gonna come on the other side of you if you don't mind. <laughs> what was that? Where? I just, I just walked over there and something just happened. All right, guys, where are you? No, something just rattled. No, guys, something rattled in that corner. You know what? When we were in the sleep cabin. What are you guys doing? When we were in the sleep cabin, I heard sounds. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody what? Are we in the bed? 67 degrees in here. It's... Put it, put it right go, down on the bed. Go right in the center of the bed. To, it's because it's, it's, it's 58 outside. Right stuff, stuff like through there. No, it's... Where you were is still there. 59, the and it just said 67. Like, it's what? 59, it's so and it just cold. read 62, like two seconds. The bed is... Free, it's, it's, it's ice blue. The <laughs> bed. You're nuts. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm right, really sorry. sorry. Someone's reading now. Awesome. 59, get out of the bed. Get out of the bed, please. Oh my god. Did you guys just... Can we go, please? Did you guys feel that? No. Oh my god, you seriously didn't feel that? What? It was like this freezing cold brush of cold air. Just... I'm with, uh, with Kimberly. I'm gonna go back down and uh, get a temperature reading. She wants to do it again. And then we're gonna come upstairs and meet you guys, all right? Cindy, you okay? I'm all right. I'm okay. Wait, can I see the Can you guys show me the phone? Look wow. at this. Put it on stuff. Oh, wow. And then put it It's totally cold. Ah! Okay. All right. Good. Let's go. Hi. What's the matter? My name's Steve. What talks? What? Where are you? Alright, you know what? Come on. Come on, I've been waiting all my life to meet you guys. Cindy's going. Yeah, Cindy's, Cindy's going. on her way back. Don't keep them. Alright, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Hello. Let's go. Coming up next. I think we're going the wrong way. Let's go. We gotta get her out. Gede is a voodoo god known to play tricks on the unsuspecting. Voodoo practitioners believe that when you enter Gede's domain, you must make him an offering and ask for his guidance. The Eaton family has entered the grounds of Magnolia Lane Plantation. They have made their offering to Gede, and they can only hope that he will look upon them favorably. <sighs> really? swooped right by my head. And this laser thing went from what being 52 degrees to 64 and 65 and 67 and 68. Yes. And okay, I believe I'm convinced.
Okay, I'm set. I'm ready to go home. Yep, right now. Okay. Here comes Stephanie, the mighty wanderer. Hey. Steph, how you feeling? Okay, tell us about... That bed was freezing was. cold. Did you find the scarecrow? I found the scarecrow. Oh my god, I was gonna take a temperature and grab the hat, and I said it. My little thing said, scream, the thing moved. I screamed and ran the other way. <laughs> I saw it move with my own eyes. Finally, I, I just sat there and just breathed and breathed and breathed and said, all right, I gotta get this hat. So I went around the other side. All I could see was flesh. I cried. Flesh? Flesh. It actually yeah. sad. Yeah, mine did too. Did you must continue building the altar. Yeah. This is your only hope for protection when you leave Magnolia Lane. Now it's time to face your worst fears. You'll be led blindfolded again to five separate points of the plantation grounds. Guys, I'm in the general's bedroom, the major's bedroom. Oh my god, my the basement. This old chair, is it an old desk? And some tools hanging from the ceiling. Some bones. Oh my god, some jars with some. Hey, is that what the keys are for, do you think? Hey, Kim, are you there? Chris, can you hear me? I can hear you. I'm in the Major's bedroom. Where are you? Yeah, Alright, Cindy, where are you? I don't know. Okay. I'm inside somewhere. Outside? Inside. Is it an old desk? Some tools hanging from the ceiling. Can I stay in here until the bell rings? I'm gonna try to unlock the door. Something. I don't wanna know what's in there. Is it an iron in here? Where are you? Get me out! Get me out! Get me out! Please don't get me! 
stuff moving around down here. Maybe it's something just banged down here. It's totally dark. The same thing's happening to all of us. I'm, I'm alone down here, and I don't know how these things are falling. Anthony, can't believe where are you? I'm in the, me the bedroom where you and Steph were earlier. S Steph, get to the back. There's a window. It's halfway open, but I can't pull it all the way open from the inside. Kimberly, if you want us to get you out, you need to let us do what we need to do, all right? Just sit tight. Yeah, well, I'm sitting as tight as I can. I'm ready to pee my pants right now. Hello. Cindy, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah? I'm at the hanging tree. Come to the house. Cindy is here with me. She knows where the hanging tree is. Let's go. We gotta get her out. I can't breathe. Chris, can you make your way with Dad towards us? Okay, let's go. Okay, let me come in right now. Chris! Yes? You guys, please, please hurry. <laughs> guys? Yes? Where are you? We're over here. Uh, we just caught sight of Chris, uh, Christopher and Dad, so we're just, uh, we're turning around and we're coming back. Then hurry up, please hurry up. We're going back. We have to go get her out. We found them, so let's go. I think we're going the wrong way. I think you are too. Steph, we are. We get her back. Yeah. Oh God, this is a field. Yeah. This is where I just was. I just came from there with Dad. We have to go this way. Okay. Okay. Trust me, I was planted in front of this thing with its brain sticking out. All right. Yeah, this is the right way. This is the way no, we came it's, in. It's that way. No. He means he's... Ah! Okay. All right. Good. Let's go. Oh, oh Christopher, wait a minute. Christopher, when we came in, right in, this was on our, my right. I'm positive. This was on my right. Because I went, oh, the thing. Dad, is that the hanging? This is where we came in. Yeah. yeah. I know. I'm just like, I'm totally lost. I, I can't even give you an idea. Oh, you we need you. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there's the graveyard yep, that's I was great. in. Chris! <laughs> We've seen some familiar sights. That's You're great. Digging? <laughs> Steph! Nope, no, I understand. I know three minutes feels like three hours. Come in. Oh, my God, guys. Hurry up, please. Right there. No, wait, please. Chris, way behind. Chris! Just try them all. Get me out! Get me out! There's another door over here. Why don't we try this one? Yeah, Hold on, Kim. Kim. <laughs> no, no Can idea. Can I just tell you what happened to me? No idea. With that. I've had enough for one night. Go, go. Yeah. Get me out of here. The Eatons can no longer continue. They seek protection at the altar. Don't ever ask me to do anything like this again. A voodoo cleansing ritual is performed. I'm mixing herbs, sea salts. The salt will absorb any negativity, any fear. It will bring you protection. Coming up next. I definitely, without a doubt, believe. It just got out of control. Get A was dancing along in front of them, guiding them by the hand right into their darkest places. It is late at Magnolia Lane Plantation, where members of the Eaton family may have encountered forces that are beyond their ability to control or understand. Their offerings to the voodoo god, Gede, offerings seeking protection, may have gone unanswered. Well, just look at it. It's a house that could be in your neighborhood. And it's in houses like this that you find spirit every day. 
people don't realize that the spirit is always present. It's all around us, everywhere. The ritual that we did was real. The drawing that we made was real. And Gede, the spirit that we called on, is a real force. And I think that's another thing people forget, that these spirits are not just superstition, they're real forces. Good, let's go. Uh, felt welcome yet unwelcome. What was that? Where? And then in the house, the bed was very, very cold. Get out of the bed. That, that room, I felt a lot in the room and in the house as well. Just a lot of energy, both negative and positive. It's just kind of frightening at the same time. No, I'm not going. But you'll be no, fine. No. How I personally felt enlightened. I mean, there are things that moved that I, I don't know how they moved. <laughs> what else? We're doing okay. We're just, uh, the okay. was moving. You know, they heard things and, you know, I smelled things and, yeah, you know, it was, it was very enlightening. <laughs> Will I ever do it again? Absolutely not. No way. I was locked in a room by myself and strange, scary things happened. I know at first I was hoping that there could be a possibility I may see something. Well, I guess maybe this is where I'm supposed to dig. But after a while I realized that it's not always just a visual. It, it could be what you feel. Guys, please hurry. I'm locked in here. I want to go. Suffering brought us the truth. Kim, you hold on. Oh, my God. We're all for you right now. I could, they couldn't get me out. The key that was supposed to unlock the door didn't unlock the door. They had to break the door in. This definitely confirms my belief in whatever else is out in another plane. It just got out of control. You come to places like this, you hope to see spirit. You have your own perception of what that's going to be like. Well, you're relying on something that you have no control over. I'm sure that as frightened as they were, they also were able to find out a lot about themselves and free a lot of fears from themselves. I heard something over I here. I heard it. I was standing right next to him. I walked this way. I think we could have stuck together a little bit more at, at certain times, but basically I think we did okay. Basically I think we acted as a, as a pretty good unit. We, said we, we solved the problems. We got you out. <laughs> And we found in, you know, we accomplished the goals that we set out to do. You were very strong. I tried to be. I didn't know I cried like a little When I first, in the first instance, when I was in the basement, at first I felt fine. I, I had the blindfold on. I was on the floor and I just thought I heard crickets. <laughs> and I, that didn't bother me at all. But then when I realized that the room was fall of bats. I'm with your bats flying around over my head. Those are not bugs. They are at oh god. It really scared me because and I'm not afraid of bats, but there were so many of them. And when I really, really panicked, like it was silent. And I looked with a camera and I couldn't find any bats. And I was like, thank you. Gede was dancing along in front of them, guiding them by the hand right into their darkest places. I, I don't think I, at any one particular time I was I was going to fall apart. You know, a couple of times I sort of had to, you know, just I mean I got scared and then I said, well, just get yourself together. You got a, you got a job to do here, and you know, you, there's things you need to do and just do it, regardless of what happens. <laughs> the bed was a uh, very bright blue yeah. color it's cool. yes, yes. And, and it changed as well even when we we did Whoa. lie on it but even after we were off of it for a bit the whole bed <sighs> itself got bright blue and even the part of the covers that were draping to the floor were bl bright blue gotta remember that that room more than any other every single person that passed through it knew there was something about that room I couldn't get her out. 
when the key w was not working. I was ready to break the door down. <laughs> yeah, it was the worst. Uh, I think it's more confirmed, yeah. Especially with Kimberly. I mean, Kimberly wouldn't be making these things up. If she saw that chair move, then it moved. I don't think I've ever been that panic-stricken ever in my life, ever. I, I was shaking. Once they got me out of the room, I was physically, like, I couldn't keep my hands still. And once she had me put my hands in the water, and she made the cross on my forehead and, and put the water on my head, I, like, I cooled down. I stopped shaking. I, like, the sense of calm and serenity just came flushing over me. And I'm, like, I'm completely calm right now. Fine. Like, nothing happened. Even though, I knew, even though I know I did, something did happen. People don't realize that the spirit is always present. It's all around us, everywhere. It opened my mind. I can't say it brought me the truth, but it certainly will make me think a little bit more before I answer. Any doubts that I ever had about there being this... Uh, any doubts I had about the supernatural, I definitely, I don't doubt anymore. I definitely, without a doubt, believe in the paranormal. The, that when people pass on, they don't necessarily leave. Never, ever. Like, I reflect on this, and I'm, I'm glad I did it. I'm so glad I didn't. I wouldn't trade this night for anything in the world. scariest places on earth. I'm Linda Blair. Good night.